So the theme for World Food Day this year is grow, nourish, sustain. And the most important word, together. The COVID-19 global health crisis has been a time to reflect on the things we truly cherish and our most basic needs. Meals on Wheels during the lockdown, from the 25th of March to the 3rd of September, shared 6,794,192 nutritious meals. Thank you. And I was told to explain that it's just not a meal. It has starch, protein, and vitamins. So 6.7 million lives were touched. In addition, Meals on Wheels delivered 205,066 food parcels. Each food parcel is enough to sustain a family of four for 20 days. Through our food heroes in the 182 branches in the nine provinces of South Africa, to further celebrate World Food Day at Meals on Wheels, we decided to set ourselves a goal of feeding through our army of volunteers and food heroes, 250,000 hot meals and 10,000 food parcels. Now, historically, Meals on Wheels focused on the elderly when it was established over 50 years ago. But our target now is to continue with the expanded services dealing with poverty in general in South Africa, especially focusing on the poorest of the poor. And today, on this year's World Food Day, the focus is on identifying ways to grow, to nourish and to sustain through agricultural projects. We believe that smallholder farming is the best first step in the journey of fighting poverty and relieving hunger. As an organization, we continue to provide services to the community in our endeavors to fight hunger and poverty in South Africa. And we do this through a number of ways. Through disaster relief, food provision, senior care and frail care, early childhood development, income generation and skills training, and also cooperation with other registered organizations and also with agricultural initiatives. Now, as you know, this year's theme is grow, nourish and sustain. This is at the core of the organization as we roll out sustainable projects to enhance our daily cooked meal program. The United Nations have identified October 16 as World Food Day around the world, which is a day of action dedicated to tackling global hunger. And on this day, October 16, people from around the whole world come together to declare their commitment to eradicate worldwide hunger in our lifetime. The goal is as pertinent today as it was then. It's a goal I know we all share, fighting the scourge of poverty and hunger. With God's help, Meals on Wheels have made a positive difference already. As a non-profit organization, Meals on Wheels Community Services South Africa recognizes good, healthy and nutritious meals as important in order to fight the impact of malnutrition in all its forms. It's not only hunger that we are committed to fight, but also malnutrition. For me, it's a very important day today. I, I did not think that when I was invited, we we're going to have such a big event, an important event as it is now. It's a very big event and I, I'm happy about it, really. To have such a thing happening, a uh, system became, I think it was last year. It was just a small initiative when he, he requested me to come and, and see what he, uh, she was doing. We really wish that this initiative can be increased. We do have land. As we are having the member of the Mayoral Committee will assist you. If you want more land to increase this initiative, you will have the land. It 
is my great pleasure to address you all once again at our annual World Food Day that we celebrate with our global partners on the 16th of October annually. Last year, we celebrated the World Food Day under the theme, The Big Cookathon, fighting hunger and poverty in South Africa by producing and preparing nutritious, healthy, and affordable meals. Last year in 2019, we had a target of cooking 10,000 meals with about 20 corporates that attended our celebration. And we were able to cook 10,793 meals to vulnerable, destitute, hungry citizens of Johannesburg. This year in 2020, we have expanded our initiative by earmarking to serve 250,000 nutritious meals through our food heroes and also distributing 10,000 food parcels. We started this initiative on Monday, the 12th of October, leading to this symposium today. I am happy to announce that as of yesterday, we served 263,426 meals. We have also distributed 9,346 food parcels across the country. 2020 World Food Day theme is Grow, Nourish, Sustain Together. Our theme as we commemorate the World Food Day today in remembrance of the founding of the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, of the United Nations in 1945 as an organization that deals with global food and agriculture issues is food sustainability and the role of small-scale holder farmers. Since 1964, Meals on Wheels Community Services has aimed to save the basic needs of the poorest of the poor, the vulnerable, the disabled, and the elderly in society. Our mission as Meals on Wheels Community Services is transforming lives through charity in motion, and our vision is a hunger-free South Africa. As partners of United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and the Friends of World Food Day, we help to promote awareness and action for those who suffer from hunger and for the need to ensure food security and nutritious diets for all. 2020 marks 56 years of Meals on Wheels Community Services existence. It is with great excitement that I share with you at this most significant moment today that this organization has six dedicated provincial offices, 181 branches, 512 service points, 10 dedicated caregivers, 10 fully fitted container kitchens mostly situated in Limpopo, 1,040 volunteers, 250 vehicles, eight farms spread across five provinces, and 2.5 million meals served monthly by our dedicated food heroes. Alleviate hunger is not an act of charity. Hunger is not a problem. Hunger is an obscenity. It is an imperative for any society that is founded on respect for human rights. Many countries around the world have imposed coronavirus lockdown with a view to saving the lives of the citizens. Apart from the multiple devastating, even deadly health consequences of COVID-19, global hunger has increased significantly during the pandemic. According to, to a just released Oxford report states as follows. The World Food Program estimates that a number of, of people experiencing crisis level hunger will rise to 270 million before the end of the year as a result of a pandemic. 
it, it means it's increasing by 80% since 2019. So, so it means if we don't have such programs, we, we are going to experience serious problems. It was an event to say, we don't want it to just be an event. We want to start acting. As a smallholder farmer, Mills and Wills, we have demonstrated that we are not out to get handouts, but we have proven that we have put our work in it, and we are ready to now sign the contracts to actually be a solution to our food insecurity. Last year, we knocked and doors were opened. This year, we set and we showed that and we put our money where our mouth is and now we're saying it is time to act. I know that some of the partners that we have here have been called from different contexts that we have. We are saying let us be the solution that we've demonstrated that we can be and we cannot do that alone. We must do it together. We nature, we grow and we sustain together. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to state that of all, we are grateful to God who has led us over the 50, 50 years old that we are here as an organization, as Mills and Women's Community Service. We have come a long way, but we thank the Lord for leading us through and giving us thus far. Mr. Chair, I want to say thank you to that. A, a gift, which means we're not paying money, a gift from uh, Auto House Global, and they are going to hand it over, Mr. Chair, to um, our nas interim national director, Mr. Nkolisi Ngube, and the chairman of our board, um, Dr. Dave Spencer, after which Pastor Kunene will pray for the gift and he'll pray for the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God Almighty, in a special way this day for the wonderful things that you are doing for us and you needy people. At this time, Lord, we have just now unveiled a gift that is a vehicle that is going to take food to the needy of our people in this area. We are praying, Heavenly Father, for the farm that we have this farm lord is going to uh, produce uh, all what we will need in order to share with the needy people of our country, especially these areas. We are praying in a special way, Lord, that protect this area and allow not the evil one, Lord, to use uh, his people to come and uh, vandalize and of course, still, the produce that are going to be uh, uh, produced in this place. We are doing all this, Lord, because of you and your namesake to reach the people that are not reached by anyone else, but it's only you who is pointing us where they are and we are able, Lord, to volunteer so that these people of yours, Lord, they should sleep having food in their stomach, lunch and breakfast. We thank you for all the time that we had and the program the way it ran. Continue to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to say this. It's amazing to see the work you are doing. and. I think it's something that absolutely warms the heart of Jesus to see what's happening. And I want to say thank you and thank you that we can be part of it. Because I believe that we can never outgive God. You know what? We've got to look after the poor. We've got to help. We've got to give. And our rewards one day is eternal life in heaven. And I want to congratulate you guys. And we want to say may God's favor, may God's blessing be over this whole project over every person that works here and may this be an absolute blessing 
And may this be the first of many to come and many successful projects for you guys. And we just pray Jesus' protection and the blood of Jesus all over you all. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Today is World Food Day and I've really been impressed with what happened with Meals on Wheels here today. We had a great celebration with a lot of invited guests and good speeches but the most impressive part was the food tunnels with spinach and tomatoes and all kinds of things growing, empowering the community. There's some people here that have been trained to in agriculture who've received the certificate and now they've also been included in the employment of this project. We had some guests here today who were so inspired by what is happening that they said they also want to multiply these kind of programs where they are to also help the poor. And We thank the Lord for what Meals on Wheels is doing to alleviate poverty and help others and show the love of Jesus in South Africa. So I'm a project manager of Sibu Gang Mills on Wheels. We started here at 2018 July with the, with the help of CWP from Sibu Gang. I used to wake up early in the morning and fetch them and start digging the garden, the farm. So we started from the scratch. There was no all of these things. So the wall is new, the tunnel is new, but we did it by the help of Mills on Wheels SA. So thank you so much. Today is World Food Day, the 16th of October, a day that is recognized globally for fighting hunger and poverty. We as Mills on Wheels have been able to conduct a symposium where we invited strategic partners in the food chain industry where we had discussions on how we can fight hunger in South Africa. We started uh, a project on Monday the 12th of October of serving 250,000 nutritious meals in the country and serving 10,000 food parcels. This was an initiative that we have planned from Monday up to Friday uh, leading towards World Food Day today. We are very proud as an organization that we've been able to touch more than 250,000 people by serving them nutritious meals and also distributing food parcels to 10,000 uh, citizens of South Africa. The food parcels are able to feed a family of four for a period of a month. We want to continue fighting poverty and hunger in South Africa and we are very grateful that we've got strategic partnerships with government, with corporates, with other like-minded organizations who were part of this symposium today. We are grateful to have organizations such as the Agriculture Research Council who have partnered with us in this farm in Sibu Gang in helping us with the uh, technical advice on how we can best maximize the land that we have in this region. As Meals on Wheels, we will continue the fight of this cage of hunger that is affecting the population of South Africa under these difficult conditions of COVID-19. We would like to express our appreciation to all our donors, our strategic partners, and all our volunteers that have enabled us to be where we are as Meals on Wheels. I thank you. We are so grateful as Mills and Mills Community Service South Africa for the involvement of, of our strategic partners as well as uh, our members of the uh, board who came through today on World Food Day. We really appreciate uh, our stakeholders in the M. Fulen municipality, Leparo and other uh, partners that we have that were here as we had our agricultural symposium showcasing that we are 
fighting the uh, war on hunger and were winning through agricultural practices. This year, COVID showed us that if you are not able to grow, sustain, and uh, together, we, we would suffer as a nation. So in this uh, symposium today, we, we uh, emphasized on grow, nourish, sustain, and doing it together as a nation. So as Meals on News Community Service, we are looking forward to supporting our beneficiaries, not only to become dependent, but to become uh, people who go out to fish for the food that they are going to eat. Thank you to uh, all our stakeholders for being part of this uh, initiative and we look forward to a fruitful and wonderful relationship. I thank you.